Former President Trump returning to Washington today for the first time since leaving office under the shadow of his election fraud lies. He's set to deliver a speech aides say will focus on law and order just over a mile from the Capitol where his supporters led a violent attack on January 6th. Mr. Trump doing nothing publicly to call off the mob for hours. President Biden now slamming his predecessor. Donald Trump lacked the courage to act. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-cop. Mr. Trump in Arizona Friday lashing out at the January 6th hearings. I watched this hoax last night. It comes as the committee is releasing new details about the president's refusal to condemn the rioters after the attack. On Monday, highlighting this image of a draft of his January 7th speech to the nation. Ivanka Trump confirming her father marked it up. Do you recognize the handwriting? It looks like my father's handwriting. One line directs the Justice Department to prosecute those responsible for the attack to the fullest extent of the law, but it's crossed out. Mr. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, was asked about that deletion. You know why he wanted that crossed out? Uh, I don't know. Another line saying to the rioters, I want to be very clear, you do not represent me, was also crossed out. And this morning, a new detail suggesting an escalation by the Justice Department in its investigation into January 6th. Mark Short, the former chief of staff to then Vice President Mike Pence, appearing before a federal grand jury last Friday, according to a source familiar with his testimony. A sign, perhaps, that the DOJ is expanding its investigation beyond those who attacked the Capitol itself and those involved in the so-called fake elector scheme. I can confirm that I did receive a subpoena for the federal grand jury, and I complied with that subpoena, but under advice of counsel, I really can't say much more than that. Hallie, talking about former President Trump coming back yeah. to Washington, D.C., a lot of speculation about 2024. I think he said that he's definitely running, but he just has to figure out when he's going to announce. The big question is the timing, right, Savannah? Because you're right. He told New York Magazine, he said frequently that in his own mind, or he's alluded to this, he's already made a decision, right? All the heavy hinting suggests he's leaning toward a run. So will he come out with it before or after the midterms? His advisors seem to be split. Some of them think he should wait. Some of them believe he should do it sooner rather than later, though, to basically consolidate support, to crowd out potential competitors, including, by the way, his former vice president, Mike Pence, who is widely speculated to also be planning a run in 2024 and who will also be delivering a speech here in Washington today. All right. Savannah? Lots to watch there, Hallie. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.